corals reproduce and grow through a complex combination of asexual and sexual reproduction. Corals start life as single embryos drifting in the current. The embryo attaches to the sea floor, becoming an individual coral polyp. This polyp reproduces asexually through a process called budding or fission. This process is repeated over and over, with each polyp laying down a cup of limestone as it moves up to a new layer. If budding were the only means of reproduction, corals would not be able to adapt to changing conditions, so they must reproduce sexually as well. Sexual reproduction produces new combinations of genetic material and therefore allows corals to evolve. During spring nights, whole colonies climax simultaneously, releasing bundles of eggs and sperm into the water column. By spawning together during the night hours, the corals give their sexual packages the best chance of being fertilised. Once released, these sexual packages combine with those of other colonies to form the free-swimming planktonic stage of coral, the planula. These larval messengers may stay as part of the plankton for days or even months as they drift in search of a new home. The larva eventually settles down and the cycle starts again. <laughs>